Lazy Burrow, and we're doing some more uh, toy hunting videos. Let's see what we picked up today. Uh, this is Tuesday, September 24th, and no swap meets or yard sales today, so I decided to just hit up a couple thrift stores uh, on the way to work today. Let's see what we got. Uh, first of all, I stopped off at a Goodwill and found uh, this little Hulkbuster uh, hanging out here. This is from the Playmation line. These are the action figures. I could interact with a uh, program on your iPad, tablet, and uh, kind of do some things. So I think this line actually got discontinued. It was it was being produced for a good few years, but I think got discontinued and they're not producing anymore. But, uh, you know, if I see some cool uh, Marvel or Disney characters from that line, I'll always pick them up. And Hulkbuster it just doesn't get much cooler than Hulkbuster when you're talking about Marvel characters. So... You know, picked that guy up. He was pretty cheap, 99 cents, so. All right, and then from that Goodwill also got this guy. It's a pretty good-sized uh, coin bank here from of the Minions. This is Despicable Me 2, I believe. What this one's actually from. Yep, Despicable Me 2. And, uh, you know, just a cool little, cool little coin bank. Pretty heavy, so. All right, so that was Goodwill number one. I also decided to uh, go by the Salvation Army thrift store. Uh, I was there a couple days ago, found a loose bag of action figures. They had some Power Rangers, a uh, Toy Biz Marvel Legends Hulk uh, from the movie line. So I decided to go back there a couple days later, see if there was anything else there to get. And uh, this was the first thing. We got a Fantastic Beasts. Uh, magical Characters and Places coloring books. This is one of the adult coloring books um, of the Harry Potter prequels here. Fantastic Beasts. So. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little... Uh, I, got, I got a bunch of the adult coloring books at the spot right now. I got a Doctor Who. I have like the Women of Marvel. I have like a Star Wars, uh, Marvel Star Wars one. So I got a few of these kind of adult coloring books here. Usually we say adult coloring books. Some people think adult like XXX, but it's not, 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 not nothing like that. Adult coloring books just kind of mean, you know, there's a adult coloring trend that was popular over the last few years. So, you know, the licensed properties all took advantage of that trend. So there's a cool book. Got that from the thrift store. Uh, that was Salvation Army. And, you know, the Halloween decorations are out and about. You go to any Goodwill thrift store, you're going to see a lot of, like, Halloween, Christmas decorations, definitely. Um, you know, this one caught my eye. It's a, you know, one of those serving trays, metal serving tray. And this one caught my eye. It just, it looked a little vintage. I like the way the coloring looked. Um, you know, it just didn't look like kind of as generic of Halloween decoration as you're used to seeing out there. There's something kind of special about this. I don't know what it was. I turned it over. I looked at it. It definitely had, you know, vintage looks on it here, vintage markings. I mean... You know, there's a nice 79 cent uh, uh, sticker there from the original. Uh, so that's how much this originally cost in retail stores. And like I say, just even seeing that cent sign there after the 79 is kind of an old school thing. You know, most people do the, you know, most retails in the computer age, uh, you know, do the, would do that as dot .79 with a dollar sign. You know, a percentage of a dollar kind of got rid of the old cents uh, on labeling. So anyway, this was kind of cool. It looked a little vintage. I have no idea what year it's from. Um, you know, one of those things that uh, can't really explain why I bought it. It just looked cool to me. It was cheap. And, uh, you know, just looked a little bit different than some of the other stuff there. So, And in the serving tray vein there, it's not the only one I picked up. I also got this cool one, Movie Land Wax Museum from Buena Park, California. I don't know if the Movie Land Wax Museum is still around. I have to do a little research there in Buena Park, but it's cool. It's got a lot of the icons of uh, old Hollywood there. John Wayne, Marilyn Monroe, uh, you know, is, is the Wizard of Oz. I think there's Abbott and Costello there. Is there Steve McQueen or there's Planet of the Apes. I think Shirley Temple is there. So this is a cool, uh, you know, this is a perfect item for uh, the antique mall spot here. Cool little vintage tin, so. All right, I guess it was vintage uh, vintage serving tray day at the uh, thrift store. The last thing I got at Salvation Army was pretty cool. This is a Mattel doll. 
Uh, Mattel, known for the, I guess Barbie is their biggest doll franchise of Mattel, you know. Uh, this one isn't a Barbie line, though, but it is a Walt Disney from the Walt Disney line. And this is Tinkerbell from Peter Pan. And this is a cool thing. She actually comes with a little orb there. It looks like a Christmas ornament, but it's an orb full of pixie dust. And there's even a little wand there. It looks like a little dusting cloth, but it's a green wand where you can actually open up that orb and sprinkle pixie dust around. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool little doll. Uh, this is from 2004. So not quite vintage, but definitely aftermarket. Yep, yep. Alright, and let's see, the last thing I picked up, it wasn't, I was actually, uh, went to Walgreens to pick up something, and, you know, anytime you're at a store like a Walgreens, a Target, a Walmart, you know, we, I go by the toy aisle first, even if I'm not there to pick up toys, you know, if I'm there to pick up regular household items, cleaning items, whatever, always gotta walk by that toy aisle and just see what's rock and rolling, and I'm glad I did because this, uh, they were having a sale on some Black Series figures. They were $7.99. Usually these retail for $19.99. And a lot of times they'll go on clearance, but a lot of the ones you see on clearance are kind of the peg warmers. You know, a lot of Jin Ursos and stuff like that. Uh, but this one, this was the only Leia Organa they had. And this is the cool Leia. This is the one from Empire Strikes Back. She's in her, like, Hoth Snow Bunny outfit. Yeah, I like this figure. You know, I never liked it enough to pay retail price for it, $19.99 or anything like that. But man, a $7.99 sale? That I can get behind. That I can definitely get behind. So, you know, there's a cool little Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia, in all of her Hoth glory there. And like I say, $19.99 was a little bit too rich for my blood when this figure first came out, but for $7.99, rock and roll. Cool. All right, so that was toy hunting today. Uh, just, a, just a little see what you can get from the thrift store. Like I say, I never get, you know, a whole carload of stuff from the thrift store, but, hey, if you go a few times a week and just pick up a little bit here and there, uh, after about a month, you, you kind of look back and you've built a, a bit of an army of collectibles. So It's always good to visit them thrift stores. And then, of course, when you're out and about on your normal business, always walk by those toy aisles of your uh, major retail places and just see what's going on. See if there's any good clearance sales or anything. Because sometimes stuff that didn't appeal to you at full retail price, you know, knock a few bucks off of it and you might actually find the uh, price that works for you. So for me it was $7.99 for Princess Leia here. Alright, this has been today's uh, Adventures in Toy Hunting with Lazy Burrow. Uh, you can visit my uh, spot and kind of see some of the stuff I find. Purchase it for yourself if you'd like. We are at uh, Downtown Toys and Comics in downtown Bakersfield. That's on 19th and L Street. Downtown Bakersfield, California. I also have another vintage toy showcase at the Central Park Antique Mall on 19th and R Street in Bakersfield, California. So you guys can give those a visit if you're in town. And uh, if you like these toy hunting videos, subscribe to Lazy Burrow. Uh, I come at you almost daily, you know, as, uh, as long as, as often as shopping permits. So as long as we find something, I'm coming at you with a, a loot video and on the days I don't find something, I will. Uh, I'm gonna start making videos of my collection at home and and start showing off some of my displays that I have at home. So, thanks for joining me, guys. This has been Lazy Burrow with the uh, Super Cheese Toy Club. We will see you next time.